What is your daily routine like? My daily routine varies, but a typical day um, is I go. I wake up around six, six fifteen. Um, my gym um, has a class at seven a.m., which I get up and get ready for. Uh, seven to eight, I'm in the gym. I'm usually back by eight thirty. Um, get ready for meetings. Um, if I'm teaching, there'll either be a class. If I'm not teaching, there are usually meetings. Uh, uh, I try to not have meetings on Wednesdays because I try to block Wednesdays for um, reading papers, writing, um, anything that I want to catch up on. Um, most of the days I'll have, uh, for example, Fridays are my one-on-ones with my students. Um, I'm usually done by 5, 5.30, usually are my last meetings. Um, and right around then, I'm usually hungry, so I'll, you know, you and I will do dinner <laughs> together, uh, and then, and then I might catch up. Uh, I might watch some uh, some TV or catch up on more work uh, after dinner, and that's basically it. That's a typical day. Um, what is your daily routine like? Um, well, like a lot of people, I work from home. Um, I actually was working from home way before um, Google made it a thing that was happening. Um, I had sort of an exception to be able to work from home because I, um, I really, really don't like the open floor plans. And um, some people can be a lot more productive at, at home and some people can be a lot less productive. And I'm, I'm definitely in the more productive camp. I have my own office. So I get up. I go outside with my coffee and I deadhead my flowers and prune uh, <laughs> as I drink my coffee. And then uh, I will usually put on a nice shirt. Maybe not always, depending on how awake I am. And then, uh, yeah, and then first I go through all of my email from my team. And then I go through all my email from my management chain and then any other email directly to me. So I have a certain pattern of how I get through email. Um, similar to that blog post you had written about how to do email effectively. I definitely used a lot of those ideas. I see. Um, I see. Yeah, so like I, I make times, if I have to respond to an email, it takes a little bit more time. I do the same thing where I put it in my agenda. Oh, so, yeah. You know, you don't like save to read later <laughs> after you've already read it. Um, yeah. So that's been amazingly helpful. Um, so I do that for the first few hours um, while I also sort of chat with teammates and kind of multitask on writing and reading and stuff. Um, and then I have a lot of meetings uh, on uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and I make Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, my main coding and writing days. Um, so Tuesday, Thursday, I'm basically in meetings from like 10 to 6. Um, one of my draft reports is in Australia, so wow. I swing a bit later for him. Um, and on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I um, tend to spend a lot of time on docs, either going through other people's docs and making comments or sort of writing my own. Um, right now, there's a few deadlines, uh, paper deadlines that I'm working toward, so a lot of just iterating on sort of the narrative on a few different papers um, with the collaborators. Yeah. yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? I get up early, uh, usually at 5 a.m. Uh, the morning is my most productive time, and that's when I do uh, focused work, like reading or writing. So I usually have uh, at least two or three hours in the morning before meetings start. Um, that's usually 5 to 8 a.m. or 5 to 9 a.m., depending on the time zone I'm in. And that's the time when I do a lot of my technical reading, or if I need to write a paper, if we're, for example, close to a deadline, when we're working on papers and I need to do writing, that is when I do uh, my writing. Mm. I make an effort to not turn on the computer 
and not check email so as to keep my head uh, absolutely clear. Mm -hmm. So I get up, I make tea or I make an espresso uh, and usually I sit down to read with my iPad and the first app I open is, uh, is the, the reading app that I use to read my papers and usually I do a couple of hours of straight reading. Uh, if I need to write, instead of reading, I, uh, I do my writing. Then usually on weekdays, meetings start. Uh, I have um, a couple of long stretches of meetings uh, with breaks for uh, maybe lunch or working out. Uh, and then it's, uh, it's close, to, close to evening. I sometimes have uh, an hour or two to myself in the evening. Um, I can use that to uh, do some reading. At that point, I'm pretty tired, so I don't do uh, technical reading. Um, I read uh, fiction or, or maybe not fic nonfiction. That's not, that's not my work. Um, or maybe I'll read, uh, I'll read a current affairs magazine, um, or I'll just clear my email and do, uh, and do some work that doesn't require uh, a clear focused mind, more like routine things that I can do even when I'm, uh, uh, when I'm not fresh. And, um, I'm usually in bed around 9 p.m. So I have to get uh, eight, eight hours. Eight hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? Well, so right now it's uh, like probably most of the people, not just in front of the screen, it's just terrible. It's sitting all the time. And before I, I had a lot of meetings before too, but at least you had to walk between meetings. Now I, I only need to click between meetings, it's terrible. So <laughs> my routine is just being in front of a TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? I don't really have a routine because it really depends every day what I have to do. So uh, usually I get up like five minutes before my first meeting if it's an early meeting. Like, uh, in particular, if I have to call people in Europe, it's going to be earlier for me than if it's the same time zone. So, yeah, I, I, I get up, I roll out of bed, I drink water, I go to the bathroom, and then I... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really have a routine. Yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? Uh, daily routine now is... Uh, I uh, The first thing I do is I... I get up and I read the check on my email and I read the news, mm -hmm. and it's essentially in a very anxious way looking through what's happening in the, on the polls, what's happening with COVID, and uh, a few weeks ago it was about what's happening with the fires in California. Yeah. So it's it's a it's the behavior of a anxious, slightly neurotic person <laughs> checking on the state of the world. Yeah. Yeah. And then at some point, I have to stop indulging myself in this way and uh, get to the activities of the day, which starts usually with meetings around 8.30 or 9.00. Yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? Uh, so I wake up at 6.30 uh, and have a quick coffee. I go work out for a little bit. And after that, the day starts at... 8, 8.30-ish. 8 um, and depending on the day, uh, some a lot of, most of the days are heavy in meetings, um, uh, some more than others. Uh, I'll have a quick lunch. If I'm lucky, I'll have a proper lunch hour. If not, there'll be a quick lunch in between two meetings. Mm. Um, and I'll stop working at around 6.00 and uh, have dinner with the family, uh, do the dishes, that's my responsibility. Uh, and um, uh, then when the kids go to sleep or go to bed around 8, 8.30ish, 
uh, then me and my wife, I don't know, we'll either play a board game or we'll watch some Netflix or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? Um, more regular recently. Usually, I, I I get up around six o'clock. If I if I can manage, I go jogging for about half an hour from like six fifteen to six forty five. I come back and put my two younger kids through their piano practice, and then send them off to school. Usually around eight o'clock, and then I have breakfast. I catch up on email. I sort of do some prep work for the day. Um, and then usually the day starts around nine and usually from nine to five. Um, it's a um, pretty steady stream of meetings. Yeah. Wednesdays are kind of more relaxing. And then I have a couple of blocks on that are not totally filled either. So some, some weeks are busier than others. And then dinner with the family, um, sometimes to catch up, kind of help kids with homework, sometimes um, go for a walk, uh, read a book, and then usually a couple more hours in the evening of just emails and docs and like prepping for the next day or if I need to edit papers, that's sometimes when it gets done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Weekends are very different. I tend not to work on weekends. Hmm. Um, and actually like disconnect from like Friday, five o'clock um, and, and really spend a couple of days hmm. quite disconnected. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds nice. Um, what is your daily routine like? Um, let's see. Well, it's, it's a little, it's changed a little bit in the past six months because we've been living in this kind of uh, uh, work at home lockdown situation. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, on a weekday, uh, I try and start working around eight 30. So I, I get up and have uh, breakfast. I'm very, very consistent about my breakfast and my one cup of coffee. And, uh, and then I usually sit down and, and start working around eight 30. Um, usually most of the days meetings, <laughs> a mix of, a mix of meetings, letter writing, um, uh, I haven't, I, my, the last class I taught finished in June, so I haven't been teaching lately and I won't mm. teach again until January, but that would normally be, you know, that's normally a big part when I have a class. Um, mm. but it, lots of meetings, mostly one-on-ones with people I'm, I'm mentoring or collaborating with, uh, some project meetings, some faculty meetings, some committee meetings, some things like this. Some, <laughs> um, I had a meeting with my grants manager this morning, um, <laughs> Lot, lots of it, it's yeah I, I live in zoom uh these days in, in google hangouts um thanks to these great tech companies for giving us these tools uh, i can't imagine doing this 10 years ago and all this stuff didn't work so well but yeah, yeah a lot and, and meetings until four or five um uh most days uh with with breaks you know because i've got other stuff to do too um reading papers and writing and reading drafts and i i have some of that i try i've, I've tried lately to keep two days half clear without meetings like mm -hmm. like Thursday mornings I just try to avoid any meetings at all so I have mm -hmm. I have time to think and do you know do some of the intellectual work <laughs> um I mean yeah. some of it happens live right but some of it also happens when you're when you're by yourself um and then at the end of the day uh I I usually wrap up at four or five and then uh spend some time exercising and clearing my head I'll go for a run I'll, I'll like I couldn't do that last week because we had this horrible smoke in Seattle and the air quality. Are you in California right now? Or I am in, Cal I am in yeah, California. Yeah, so yeah. you know you know what it's like. It was, it was kind of horrible. Um, and then after that, I'll um, usually mix a cocktail for myself and my wife and uh, spend the evening eating dinner with her, practicing music, reading a book, working on, I'm learning a language. Um, wow. And uh, we'll watch, a, we'll maybe watch a movie or something. And uh, yeah, I, I try and stop working mm. in the evening. Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> um, what is your daily routine like? Um, so, uh, I mean, I, it, you know, obviously it's, it's totally uh, switched because of the pandemic. But, um, you know, I start working at nine, I guess. And... Um, I have a lot of meetings, which is problematic sometimes, but, but uh, you know, I either have meetings or else I try to write or I just email takes a lot of time. Um, and as you know, I, I work at both Google and at MIT, uh, primarily at Google. Uh, and so um, that combination takes a lot of time. 
what is your daily routine like uh it's kind of embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> um so for the past i think i don't know maybe month or even longer than that i have been slightly off schedule i mean off time zone i would say um so i wake up around 10 10:30 um and then it takes me 2 hours to just uh do some morning exercises and like morning routine um just to get ready so that i can start working and then after 2 hours i start working um i start with like having breakfast and uh, browsing something on my laptop um so just uh, taking care of very quick emails also checking all the notifications not necessarily replying to all of those um but uh, and then i try to focus like before lunch i try to focus on my research um and then have lunch uh, and if of course there are meetings and i attend those but then towards the end of the day i try to respond to the lo- things which require like significant amount of time or anything that i'm doing in parallel to research like um i'm organizing a workshop so i'm uh, working on that a little bit so anything like that um and then uh, around 8 8:30 uh, i get up from my desk that's like the end of my uh, work time and then i cook dinner eat um watch tv and then towards the end of the day like 10 pm or sometimes 11 pm i go out for a walk um uh, usually like an hour or maybe half an hour walk mm. and then yeah come back read a book maybe and then sleep around 1:30 to yeah so it's uh the exact time varies from day to day <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 um what is your daily routine like um my daily routine is uh not daily i would say my weekly routine um is a combination of research meetings email writing and administrative things yeah um what is your daily routine like oh my god it depends so um mondays and fridays our team has decided that it's no meeting days so sometimes that means we have the day whole day um free of meetings but sometimes it means all of us like use it for our external meetings Mm-hmm. Um and so like Mondays and Fridays having no meeting days means like I can actually get work done. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And it like you know it means I can read a paper, I can like write up pa- work or I can try to understand a concept or I can and like I forget that that is my primary job as a researcher. <laughs> and it feels like like sometimes so i like i would i feel like i'm on vacation so i would like take a few papers or something like yesterday i did this um and go, go to a cafe like kupa which is very near here um and um and i would like not have my phone or anything like that and i would just like read a couple of papers so like we have a a a, a few deadlines coming up and i don't know if any of the work I'm I'm doing will make it to them but I'm trying to like write drafts and stuff. So yesterday that's sort of what I did. Um and it was nice like and I was you know it was hot outside but like I would try to read outside and then it was just too hot like I was starting to fall asleep or something. Today I had back to back to back meetings from 8 a.m. until 4:30. So I literally woke up and i didn't even like brush my teeth or anything i woke up and went straight to like my my first meeting <laughs> and then and then in one of my meetings with emily denton i was like okay i got to have my coffee so i was making my coffee and stuff and then i realized that my i was going to i was putting milk into my coffee and i realized my milk had gone bad oh, no. but then i didn't have time in any of my meetings to go get milk from somewhere So I left one of my the meetings um 10 minutes early and like I'm going to run to the store and get milk cuz it's noon and I haven't even had my coffee and like I want my coffee. So that was today. And like some meetings are just it's really interesting, you know, because well, I don't know, like I I always feel like w- when I feel I'm getting work done like I said is when I'm either reading something, writing something um or feeling like I'm I'm like trying to understand a concept or something like that. which means that you really undercount the value of like just talking to people mm-hmm. getting it is cuz you never know like where that will kind of end up right mm-hmm. and so um so one of those things was like i i have this weekly meeting with with this guy Donald Martin and one of the things we were talking about was like you know 
um, talking uh, hate speech and like how, um, you know, in Ethiopia right now, there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on. I mean, there's like many different ethnicities. And so there's always, you know, something that, um, but there's a lot of disinformation, misinformation online that can fuel certain things, right? And so how there's like no hate speech lexicon. Um, and so I was trying to figure out like if there is um, an entity that we could leverage to like, um, you know, or like there's a, a burgeoning movement. There's like Ethiopian NLP um, researchers and stuff. And so if they could, you know, come up with some sort of open source like, um, you know, uh, what is it like, I, I don't know, a resource or something like that, that people could do, could work on. Mm -hmm. And so this was something that just came up as I was talking, like, it was just a random, you know, I have these weekly meetings with, with Donald, like uh, this guy, and like, it was just something that came up. And so, or like this random things where like, I meet people. And yeah, so I always undercount that, you know, you, yeah. you, you always, it's, it's hard to, 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 to count like how that affects your work especially in COVID, like um, in COVID times. So that's sort of, I guess that was today and yesterday. That's kind of like my routines. It's either meetings and meetings could be just like one-on-ones, like how's it going? What's going on? What are you doing? Or some people would ask me, like I had a meeting with this person who just wanted to meet, have a meeting. I hadn't talked, I don't know her. And you know, usually I'm like, oh, God, how many people can I do this with? Like, I'm just going to not do anything, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm, you know, but it's also always interesting. Like, I met her, and she is, um, her um, expertise is, um, like, um, measuring, looking into health disparities um, by, by pop, different populations and stuff like that. She's a, she's a physician, mm -hmm. and that's, that's her research expertise. So that was really interesting, interesting to know that there is someone like that around, like, at, at Google. So that was one of my meetings today, and we had a team meeting, and, you know, just, like, it's, meetings could be about specific projects or whatever, specific research directions or just, like, one-on-ones with people. And I think that's – I spend most of my time doing that. Um, and then I, I really like my no meeting days to the point that like, I might feel like I'm on vacation. I might not get work done because I like someone called me, someone said I am the most extroverted introvert they know. And I, I feel like maybe that's the good description because when I'm around people, I'm basically like an extrovert. Like I talk to people a lot. I like, you know, talking to people. I like learning about people or whatever. But I, I can't, I need, I just need space. Like, I, it's exhausting to be around people all the time. So I, I wouldn't say I'm, like, 100%. Like, an ex, I wouldn't describe myself as an extrovert, usually. Hmm. So, yeah, so that, that's, that's kind of my routine. Yeah. yeah. What is your daily routine like? So I've got, um, well, so I've got, like, two main things like for my professional work. So there's the company, the startup that I reconstruct that I helped create a few years ago and then the university. So I have like blocks of time that are allocated to each of those. And then within, with, within each of them, I usually have about like two thirds of my day is filled with like preset meetings. And then the remainder time is to like work on um grants or patents or like research stuff <laughs> just like general stuff that needs to get done yeah yeah um, and then like more generally in my day like right now um so right now the uh usually i'm working from around like nine to five and then often like eight to ten and uh but i take like thursdays i pick up isla my daughter five-year-old daughter from Montessori and we, we spend an afternoon together and uh, weekends is mostly time with family. Hmm. Yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? It, you know, it widely varies. And as I was saying now with the pandemic, it's the new normal, right? Like before this, uh, as I'm sure you were in the same process as well of right, doing research, like talking to various different collaborators, then traveling, <laughs> giving talks, attending conferences, panels. Uh, and so just, it was such a busy, crazy life looking back. I mean, I guess I didn't even have a chance to kind of take 
pause and say, oh, look, these are all the set of activities I've been involved in. I mean, it was energizing. I also enjoyed meeting people and brainstorming. So some of that I miss in the uh, pandemic. But on the other hand, uh, I have a lot more time to you know, do yoga, dance, <laughs> just right. Like kind of, there was so much time spent uh, traveling. I mean, even if it's local travel, going from one meeting to another. So it's more seamless. If only we could like also have that, all the nonverbal interaction and like recreate some of that in-person. Yeah. Theater. I think in other ways, this is much better. Yeah, 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 for sure. They're giving an invited talk. It's so much, it's a much smaller commitment now rather than having to like fly coast to coast or spend two, two and a half days um, for like an hour talk. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, and I hope this way, especially more uh, women can uh, do this, right? I personally don't have kids, but my friends who do, they would turn down a lot of those opportunities because they just couldn't go and now... Hopefully, there is more openness to this, even after we overcome exactly. this. Yeah. I think we'll probably go into a hybrid mode, right? That there will be some events that are in person. I do miss that. I want some aspects of that. Yeah. But in a more balanced way, I mean, it shouldn't be on a daily basis that, uh, right? You yeah. are expected to go to different places. Yeah. And, and yeah. So yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, what is your daily routine like? Well, let's see. So uh, I tend to I tend to work best late at night, mm -hmm. uh, but you know uh, that's just the way I've been when I was a grad student. Um, uh, you know, these days I uh, I tend to have uh, morning meetings with folks in Europe, and then because the most of uh, most of my days with folks in California, I tend to skew late. So I tend to you know wake up, take a shower get something to eat and then start my work day, take a break. And then in the, um, in the evenings, I really try to take time to do some martial arts. So I've been really lucky to get a chance to practice with people I used to train with years ago. And especially in COVID, it's good to be able to kind of do something like that. So I take a couple of hours, um, some days a week, and then you know dinner. And then uh, depending on how things are, I tend to do some work uh, at night as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what is your daily routine like? It uh, depends a lot on what day it is. So Mondays and Fridays, I generally do uh, currently virtual pair programming with my colleague Sanjay Gamawat and uh, a few other people that were working on a project for building sort of large scale machine learning infrastructure systems. Hmm. Uh, and then other days are more mixed. I have like different kinds of meetings. Uh, you know, I'm uh, currently meeting Google Research and Google Health, so I have meetings related to, you know, project reviews of things going on there, or uh, work time to deal with email to, you know, uh, write code myself, things like that. So yeah. it's a mix of things. Um, what is your daily routine like? Daily routine. So, uh, like, since March, this things are a little bit different. So since March, what we were, what I'm doing typically in the morning, um, we I probably couldn't do anything because I uh, so need to take the kids to like for a walk and um, kind of um, make sure make sure that I keep them busy. And then so that's in the morning, and then uh, after lunch, uh, put them to bed, so to them to nap. Uh, that's probably um, uh, around 12.30. And then I come down and here um, and then start to uh, have meetings. Um, and probably from one to uh, probably four or five, uh, that's kind of my work hours. And then I need to uh, go up and then bring them outside again if the weather is nice. Um, um, yeah, and then uh, and then... Sometimes at around six or seven, it's their kind of their TV time. They were they were uh, they are allowed if they clean up things. They are allowed to watch uh, Atanas. <laughs> so it's a cartoon. It's a hmm. it's a fun uh, uh, cartoon. Hmm. Uh, they can watch TV for probably an hmm. hour, and then I'll bring them to the bed uh, around uh, probably eight uh, nine. 
uh, then they will put them we will put them in uh, to the bed to bed uh, at nine, mm. and then uh, uh, usually around nine thirty or to ten. That's starting my free time again. So I'll <laughs> try to make up the some of the work uh, that I I didn't do. So yeah. I was seeing that. So that's kind of the daily uh, routine. Things mm. much. Mm. Yeah. So right now both of them are not in daycare. So. Um, yeah, so so it's, we have to keep uh, keep them busy. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. 